This is a truly tragic story right here. From October 2nd, 1937 until October 8th, 1937, thousands of Haitians were killed in what's known today as the Parsley Massacre. Before we get to the actual massacre itself, it's important to understand the relationship between Haiti and the Dominican Republic that led up to the massacre. Haiti used to own the Dominican Republic, but after the Dominicans won independence in 1856, the relationship between the two became strained. Frequently flipping from seeing the other country as an ally or foe, much of the conflict revolved around ownership of their shared island, Ispola. I am glassing over details and oversimplifying decades of cultural tension, but the important bit to note is that the Haitians, although initially at the superior army, lost three times the amount of soldiers in the war. After the war, there was an immense uptick in childbirth. This is common behavior. Countries will typically have more babies after war ends. But this was an especially large issue for Haiti because the newborn Haitians didn't have anywhere to go. Haiti is a pretty small country. It's estimated that there were 500 Haitians living per square mile of land at the time. Starving, the Haitians migrated west to the Dominican Republic where the land was better suited for farming, which they were able to do because there was virtually no border security. And as such, the Dominican government grew paranoid that the Haitian revolutionary force would be able to resubjugate their country. All this helped contribute to a general attitude of anti-Haitianism, which led to a restriction in immigration quotas and subsequently, Haitian refugees dying from exposure and disease. Sharing traits from other infamous authoritarian leaders, Rafael Trujillo was in power at the Dominican Republic from 1930 to 1961 saw the Haitians as both racially and culturally inferior beings. He viewed the Haitian migration as a massive obstacle to the Dominican Republic's economic development. All this erupted in 1938 when Trujillo ordered the indiscriminate murder of Haitians along the border after he received reports of Haitians stealing Dominican Republican cattle. Haitians were killed with all sorts of instruments, from guns to shovels to machetes. Children were thrown into the air to be caught by bayonets before being thrown onto their mother's corpses. The Haitians tried to flee back into the country, and the few that survived the journey across a river along the border told stories of family members being hacked to pieces and children bashed against tree trunks. It's unclear how many Haitians died over these six days. Many of the killings occurred without witnesses, and the location of the island means it's likely that the corpses were thrown into the sea to be devoured by sharks. The estimation ranges from 12,168 to as many as 35,000. U.S. President FDR and Haitian President Vincent sought repercussions for the massacre. A total of $30 per victim was paid by the Dominican Republic, but their survivors only received two cents of each $30. The rest was stolen by the Haitian bureaucrats. I'm sure at this point, many of you are wondering why this event was called the Parsley Massacre. It's ruthlessly simple. When the Dominican soldiers encountered someone they suspected of being Haitian, they would hold up a spring of parsley and ask them to identify the plant. The suspect's pronunciation of the word would determine their nationality, and as such, whether they lived or died. 